we have a lead in ensuring that moving forward, nothing under the sun will stop us from doing what we are required to do to help this country move forward unhindered. Thank you so much. And of course, we're here for justice. We want justice to be done, justice to continue being our shield and defender so that there can be liberty, so that we can all be a fulfilled people by reason of all that is happening. Thank you so much. And uh, we are starting out. And of course, uh, please let us adhere to our two to three minutes rule. I want that to uh, be clear as we start out so that you don't keep the queue too long. And uh, if you have one, two, three things you want to tell Kenyans, this is the place to be. Please make sure that you make use of that link. Click on it. You can now access from Facebook, from YouTube. And then, um, of course, we have unlimited options. Okay, Facebook, there is Facebook profile. There is Facebook uh, official page. And then uh, there is Tempe TV YouTube channel. And of course, Sound Candy Talk YouTube channel. Whichever is serving you right, get it and let's get down doing what we know to do best, telling Kenyans the truth and letting the country shape up into doing what is required. Thank you so much. Let's listen from Rhoda. Rhoda Barela. Nice to see you, Bernard. You know, I like you very much, but you don't know that. I like you like a brother. You know, uh, you know yesterday... Welcome. Get... Move closer to the mic. Move closer to the mic. Na nilisikia vibaya sana. Kuna atuwa na nitukana na hapa jana. Vitu vibaya sana niliona online. You know what happened yesterday? So I was a little bit sad today when I think what people be abusing me from. Because they always hate the truth. That's why, okay, yesterday I was a little bit talking. But, um, you know, I'm like that. And I know you understand me. And other people from Azimio, they understand. It's only Uda, they don't understand me. Because I know, yeah, you know, so I was a little bit sad. So try to protect if people they try to talk me bad thing, try to protect me. Please tell them don't abuse me because me, I'm coming here because I love my country and I'm I'm fighting for whole world, not only Kenya, whole world, global. When I pray, I used to pray for whole world. I don't pray for only I don't pray part only Kenya. Whole world. That's why me I'm here. I'm here to fight to make this world more writer, more right, better place to live. Not only Kenya, whole Africa and America and whole world. That's why I'm here. I'm not here only Kenya. Because for me, I am always respect all the president whole world. It doesn't matter if it's a poor country in Africa. You know some country in Africa, they eat even rabbits. They eat everything. I respect all the president. I respect all the kings. I respect all the queens. I respect even those people who are united nations something i'm against and god know my heart is dictator dictators i hate dictators i hate those abuse the power that's something i'm against and it's not in kenya whole global so i'm fighting for whole group not only for kenya i'm against for whole africa and for america and I'm against for terrorists, international terrorists. Those kind I'm against. I'm against for dictator, those who take the power without the constitutions or democracy, who lie, who try to do something according to the law. That's why I'm here. Not only Kenya, global. I'm against for terrorists, internationals, and I'm against, you know, like in America. I used to pray for America because I know America have been attacked. 2001 in attack bomb i know so when i'm here i'm not only so when people they try to abuse me i'm not coming here just for only kenya i'm fighting for whole world i want to please i want to be more writer to to put my right because i'm against i'm against terrorists i'm against for those who abuse the power i i'm against for the kenya this kenya who are government that's why i'm fighting with the with this administration for ruto because he's not doing the right He's not doing according to the constitution. He's only abusing the power. He is using our results. He is using, I want you to listen for me, Ruto. I'm against you. You must leave the office 
if you don't do according to the constitution and our democracy the one we fought 2010 and i'm angry in me i'm more bigger than you because you don't follow our the law that's what i say i'm against for all the present whole world against for the demonstrations according they don't rule the they can't tell with the rule of the law and the constitutions all the democracy those even those are something i'm against whole world so that's why i'm here i want to be more the writer to be right in this world we are living more writer to the darkness because people they can live the life god created you to be or to live the life you are happy and you enjoy these fruits you cannot enjoy the root the fruit when you leave the country they're not rule the constitution you cannot leave the you you have a present is lying a president who is not honest a president who doesn't know what is he is going different places and lie you don't want you don't you want somebody to make commitment una, una, una fanya, una sema, na una tender. that what Ukiona watu wako na ja, unaeda doa ti doa. Si kusema watu nafanyia watu kazi, na watu wanalala ja, na watu wanakufa. No, absolutely do. Tenda, ufanye, unaenda doa kwa doa. Ama unatuma dege, inaenda, ina, inaeka chakula huko watu wanakufa. But you cannot just say that I'm doing like this and this, this. I don't respect and I'll never respect. So I'm starting here to be more writer to the darkness. Hmm. Okay, maybe so the next person can talk and maybe I talk too much. Anyway, this is a new start. It's a new beginning. And I'll be here fighting for my country and the whole world. That's what I'm burning for, to make this world we are living more better place for living and more lighter you can enjoy. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rhoda. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, let's keep going. Uh, I appreciate everybody. Those uh, on the comment section, let's keep it neat. And uh, don't watch alone. Make sure you're inviting somebody to join into the discourse and hear what Kenyans are saying about their country and how they will love their country to be governed and, of course, be built into a success. So let's uh, all keep the focus. Don't allow yourself to be distracted by the naysayers or the distractors the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing that means uh getting rid of bad leadership in this country should be the priority on every uh list of every kenyan who wants the best of this great country so don't uh, allow yourself to be distracted yes sir good evening how are you that's Eric, <laughs> but now that's the email. I logged in using the email. <laughs> Where would that <laughs> Siri? <laughs> no, it's uh, if you read it the opposite way, <laughs> they read Eric. Now, um, <laughs> coming to the topic, um, I think the government we have is has come, everybody's seeing, and uh, I think no one is blind. The six month thing is back, and somebody's telling us uh, that he was launching the Uduma number. This is the thing that he used on campaigning. How honest is this guy? And you understand the guy is more religious than anyone else in this country. So I'm wondering, and uh, the four pillars, the economic pillar, I don't, I don't know, the four, the four what the last government was doing, like uh, housing and everything relaunching why are you doing this you can have a cabinet the, the the cabinet secretary concerned and go do the because these things were already launched before so i think kenya we have uh, we don't have leaders your politicians who are just out to make uh, to, to, to just convince people for the next elections. In fact, what they are doing, you see the deputy and the president, is a, they are in a campaign mood. There, there's nothing else they are doing because whatever you see they are doing now is what has already been done. Can these thing, things be done from the ministry? Why should it be the president must be there? The president must be there. No house uh, actually uh, to know so that they... Uh, president goes there to cut the reforms, all of that. Why is he launching six month project, six month project, even the month that you were saying that he has given people? 
But I don't know why Kenyans we reason like uh, we are zombies. And I'm sorry to use use that term to some of our, of us. We I think we don't reason straight, and we don't see where there is uh, uh, some sense, so to say. And then if you look at uh, somebody was talking about democracy, I did not get what he meant by that, the constitution and all that. What I'm trying to see is that uh, if that is the thing you are supposed to use the rule of law, what happened with the IPC? Were they complying with the law itself? They pangled the elections. That's what I may say. Because if the four commissioners according to the um, to the law who are supposed to uh, um, who are supposed to to announce their results and when they descended um, uh, it was overlooked as if nothing happened uh, don't you think that is uh, uh, not following the law so for me uh, the leaders themselves, the, the 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 president going down. Nobody follows the law. They do what they think is good for them. You saw the guys from Venezuela were arrested. Who released them? What evidence was, or why were they arrested? They made us to be where we are today. The president was saying that the last regime made the unga prices to go high what has he done to reverse the same i think unga i put the other day it was 187 almost 200 so uh it was harvesting time by the time we came into power and people had a lot of uh mindies that's from the guitar side and all those places happened to go that time around that place people were crying they want to release maize to the cereals. They never did so because there was no money in the cereals. Uh, money was not allocated. So people have uh, the maize in their stores. So are we in the direction that we should follow as a country? Do we have leaders who care about the citizens? So I don't know if I'm within the topic of the day but i think i just jumped in and i've said so much <laughs> oh that, that, that that's that's what i have for now as we progress it's okay, it's okay Siri. we appreciate that and uh, you're most welcome uh, we are here to converse as kenyans on what is the best what is the way forward seeing we are being treated for a ride as the kenyan people and uh, the people who are supposed to provide leadership seem lost and uh, only god will save us from this all the same thank you so much let's keep uh, the conversation going if you're able to get us please make sure you invite one two three four people to join and follow the discussion learn one or two and of course take a stand on the way forward we can see some uh, leaders taking the coward position others are coiling in others are running away but this country can only be delivered by those who are ready to stand and be counted. So make sure that you are part of those that are standing to be counted. Thank you so much. To give them the way to Michael, to Kisonga Mele. Karibu, Daddy. Unmute, unmute, Daddy. Bado mafambano. Abarize nijote. Bado mapambano, mapambano, mapambano. Bado mapambano, mapambano, mapambano. Hakuna kucheka, hakuna kucheka. Ni kum, ku, kuenda kufurusha huyo mutu kutoka huko. Iyo takataka, iko state house itoke, yende kabisa, tumechoka nayo. Jumapili, iwe ni siku ya mwisho ya ruto kuwa ndani ya state house. Anaudhi, anaudhi sana. Alifukuzwa West Africa na viongozi walimwambia we kwenda huko kwenu uliiba kura sasa huyu mtu ameiva ameiva kabisa yuko ameiva yuko kwa nyungu sasa ni nyungu itolewe kwa moto wa kuliwe umbu wa yeye kwenda kabisa 
Hiyo ndiyo kitu inatakana kuongelewa hapa. Hakuna kucheka na hakuna kufunga macho. Kumuangalia kwa macho kabisa na kumwambia enda toka uende na kutoka kuenda sio kuenda kabisa ni kumushika na kumweka huko manyani. Awache upuzi. Hako na upuzi mingi sana. E, wakenya wamechoka. Wale wakenya milioni nane walipigia raila. Wamechoka na wale wengine wakupiga kura pia milioni nane. Wako nyuma ya raila. Mimi najua mpaka saa hii. Kwa mana hao wa, wameona hakuna kitu inaendelea Kenya. Ila ukaraba, ukarabati wa uh, 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 jua kalulu. Sisi hatutaki ujuha. Tunataka kiongozi Kenya yendele mbele. Raila atawazwe. Jumapili awe ndiyo president wa Kenya. Tumechoka. Hakuna ati. Oh mara sijui ya pewe sijui. Ah, ah, hakuna wakati waruto tena. Imekwisha imefika mwisho. Aliambiwa huko West Africa. Na kama wamefukuzwa na wale wa West Africa. Sisi tunangoja nini. Tufurushe yeye kwende kabisa. Atutaki yeye kabisa. Wa Kenya amukeni musilale. Hiyo ni muizi yuko hapo. Aliiba kura. Na tena ni muwaji. Aliuwa musando. Aliuwa Jacob Juma. Na mikono yake alishika shingo za hao watu. Na kaona macho ya watu ikigeuka. Huyo ni munyama. Atoke hapo kabisa. Hakuna hakuna tukubali yeye akae hapo. Ah ah. Uhuru wa Kenya haukupiganiwa eh, ili watu wawe wanyama. Pana uhuru wa Kenya ilipiganiwa ili watu wakuje pamoja wa, wa, wajenge nchi yao. Sio kurudisha nchi nyuma. Ruto an, amesimama mbele ya maendeleo. Tumupige atoke hapo. Tuendelee mbele na Raila. Raila atengeneze nchi. Watoto wa watoto wetu Watoto wetu na watoto wa watoto wao wawe wanasikia kweli waliwachiwa Kenya mzuri, mzuri. Raila hajamaliza kazi yake. Kazi yake lazima amalize, alianza na lazima amalize na kumaliza ni Jumapili. Hiyo ndio kumaliza kazi. Achukue hiyo hizo watu yake wote. Haya, hongea. State House. Nasikia Ruto anasema ataweka wanajeshi Nairobi. Tunangoja tuone wanajeshi wataua wa Kenya wangapi. Hiyo ndio tunangoja kuona. E, na ulimwengu mzima itaona. Kwa hivyo Ruto ameingiza baridi kabisa. Kabisa hata ukimuona akiongea. Anaharia suruari. Uyo si mtu anaongea akiwa, anaongea akiwa na uoga mingi. Kwa hivyo aondoke aende. Hivyo ndio mimi nitawawacha. Asanteni. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Let's play a video and then uh, we proceed from there. We request that West Africa video if you have. Good evening from wherever you are across the globe. I'm Babu Oweno, Member of Parliament and Bakasi East Constituency. I want to take this opportunity to invite all Kenyans from all walks of life to come to Jakaranda grounds on Sunday the 20th of January from 9 a.m. We will be holding a mother of all the rallies, a rally that will deliberate on the interest of Kenyan citizens, a rally that will ensure that Kenyan citizens are served, a rally that will ensure that school fee is given to our young men and women, our children, our, our students in various schools, in various colleges and universities, a rally that will ensure that, that Kenyans fight the yoke of poverty in this nation, a rally that will be a grand rally that will protect the interest of you and me. Tibim. Karibuni sana. Okay, mambo ni kama hayo unakaribishwa Jakaranda hiyo Jumapili. Kwa hivyo jikakamue kama uko mbali anza safari mapema 
ili usipitwe na ma, na jambo lolote e, ukweli ni kwamba inji hii inahitaji kurekebishwa na ni sisi wenye inji ambao tutairekebisha lazima tuwajibike na tuhakikishe kwamba tunatekeleza wajibu wetu it is our civic responsibility to see to it that we ensure that our country is led rightly and for with the right people for right purposes uh, the story of six months promises uh, like uh, we said on the topic is back back in the sense that uh, after 100 days it's now six months after six months it will be one year or 30 days and all that i mean when will we begin to move forward as a country so it is about time we got angry enough and did what is required to help us move forward thank you yes sir uh, yes, nasema hivi hmm. nasema hivi ile kura iliibiwa haikuwa kura ya raila kura ili, ilikuwa ya wale waliopigia raila kura ndio kura yao iliibiwa hao ndio wanafaa kwenda kuichukua hao ndio wanafaa kwenda kuichukua kwenda kutoa huyo huyo mtu huko huyo takataka hiyo kitu inaitwa ruto itolewe hapo haraka haraka ni kitu mbaya out ni nje out ni eja hakuna mchezo atuchezi na yeye nyumba siyo yake nyumba ni yetu ajue namna hiyo na watu wanamkujia jumapili jumapili lazima watu waende huko waende wakachukue kiti yao waende wakachukue kura zao muizi yuko state house ayuko mali kwingine yuko state house kwa hivyo state house huko ndio tunaenda up the hill yeah no relenting people has to go for their rights okay we don't have to relent because if you relent you'll be in a big shit you'll be in a big shit you'll never take yourself out of that shit so guys don't relent it's time now ruto is ripe ruto is ripe ameiva kuiva sasa amebakia kukuliwa na nyoka ukitaka kuua nyoka hapana piga eh, mkia piga kichwa unapiga kichwa ina inakufa ndio hiyo nyoka haitarudi hapo hata itazaa wengine <laughs> ruto na familia yake wapelekwe huko ndani na kinagashago hiyo takataka yote hiyo hiyo yote ipelekwe huko manyani wakali, wakae manyani miaka kumi watu wakitengeneza Kenya alafu wanatolewa wanaonyeshwa wa Kenya wanarudishwa tena huko huko eh hey, kama ni Nairobi hapo hapo archives pawekwe posta moja kubwa sana inaandikwa ya kwamba Ruto na wenzake wawe wanatolewa kila miaka kumi na sijui kama hata wanaweza maliza siku moja kwa jela hawawezi wata, watakuwa wamekufa sababu ni watu wamezoea raha na jela huko watakutana na wale wenyewe ndio watajua hawajui kwa hivyo wa Kenya msilale hakuna kulala kura zenu ndio ziliibiwa sio ya Raila Raila yeye alikasti yake moja nyinyi mkamkastia kwa hivyo muende hizo kura zenu huko state house hapana cheza hakuna mchezo hakuna kucheka e, hii ni hogia kufurusha mtu kumtoa kabisa take him out of there he is just a nuisance he is disturbing irritating you people you have to know that it's so so bad it's not good watoto wengine hawaendi shule na wale wamemaliza form 4 hawatapata kazi ni unajua ni idadi gani au watakuwa nini watakuwa waizi malaya hatutaki inchi kama hiyo tunataka inchi ya watu wanaojua nini wanafanya inchi ya watu wanafanya kazi kulingana na uh, nini masomo yao kwa hivyo wa Kenya na waomba na muwe muko muko tahadhari sana mukae muko chonjo tuone Ruto atauwa wangapi tuone na dunia inaangalia ajue hivyo wale walimweka hapo wanaangalia na hao wako na wale watu wanaitwa human rights watatokea vibaya sana wakimkashif kwa hivyo Ruto ameiva ni kutetemeka na tetemeka ndio huyo umemuona 
alitoka huko West Africa mbio mbio akakuja ameenda mpaka Shauri Moyo. Shauri Moyo wanamuangalia tu. Wanajua ni wapi wataenda. Wanaenda huko Jakaranda. Eh, huko ndio wanajua. Ah, hiyo anakuja, wanakuja tu kum... wanaangalia muizi. Muuaji. Hatuwezi kubali kutawaliwa na uongo. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hakuna kitu yoyote atafanye nini. Aliingia hapo na uongo, atolewe. Hiyo ndiyo kitu ya kwanza kuangalia. Aliingia vipi hapa? Aliingia vizuri? Ah basi, wachanene na yeye. Aliingia vibaya? Ah huyu tunabeba juju haraka haraka. Huyo tunatupa huko manyani. Naona Chebukati ameshindwa na kesi. Sawa, thank you Mr. Asante, asante mtu wetu. Eh, yeah, buka, kule, bado watu wakae chonjo bado mapambano hakuna kurudi nyuma kajuanga ameamuka on sande kajuanga atakuwa state house ajue hivyo sawa sawa asante sana tunashukuru kwa maoni yako na mchango wako of course na wito wako kwa wa Kenya e, ni muhimu tusimamie ukweli uongo hauwezi kutuongoza na utupeleke pazuri kama ni lazima tukue na inji ambayo taita inji yetu lazima tusimame kwa ukweli asante sana uh, roda unasemaje nabia dadi tuko chonjo unajua ni dadi yangu tuko chonjo dadi tunakuheshimu sana bila unaongea hapa kwa sababu unatuonyesha vile tunatakika na kuende kwa sababu wewe ni baba wetu na na kuheshimu <laughs> No understand you understand <laughs> Asante sana Okay thank you thank you let's uh, listen to Mr J Mr J how are you Thank you Mr ba Bernard and uh, the panelists uh, I greet to you good evening Good evening to uh, you how are you Thank you. Happy New Year. Actually, since the year started, this is the first time I'm sharing with, with you together. <laughs> uh, so I can go direct to the point. Six months promises of this gentleman called Mr. Ruto is an hot hair. You know the hot hair that they confirmed to us during the Supreme Court hearing. It is a hot air. If there are still Kenyans who, who believes in this gentleman, you should go back to 2013. If we can go from 2013, then you can find out who is this man called Mr. Samoy Ruto William. Because for, 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 for fact, how can he every day is giving a promise after promise, promise after promise? Surely, how can he achieve them? How can he implement them? For example, take the initiative of that the housing. He has gone almost all counties preaching and promising that he's gonna to build 5,000, 20,000, 4,000 houses. How can he manage? And he's really crying that the economy is bad. All these investors that who want to put money in an economy of a country where it's not growing and it's very bad with poor management. Okay, for example, I think I was listening to IMF fund. They were saying that almost three quarters of the money that given to the Kenya government, it is being squandered by the same, same government. How can we trust that now the investors are honored to come? Okay, secondly, he has confirmed himself as a, a president of the Republic of Kenya, whereby I myself, I don't, Recognize him. I'm sorry. I voted from diaspora. I'm not in Kenya. And I cannot recognize Mr. Ruto to be a president of the Republic of Kenya. He's a president of some quarters or cadres of people who really choreographed this kind of election to put him as, as their own president. My president is Mr. Raira Amoro Dinga. Till the sky comes down 
and the earth opens and closes over my life is the president. That is what I believe, and that is what I, I am in. So for today, I saw him in um, uh, in Saurimoyo, as Mr. Michael Mwarenga said. The guy already he has panicked. I'm sorry, if I can take you back, uh, when he was in, uh, in Gatundu, I don't know whether it was Gatundu or somewhere, in the funeral of uh, this... Um, uh, minister of, uh, I don't know, this colleague, uh, I don't know him, huh? from Gatundu. Uh, Moses Kuria. Uh, that is the name. You know, it is very <laughs> difficult for me to mention that name. <laughs> because of counterfeit. He's the minister of counterfeits. <laughs> Yes, and he accepted that people are really spoiling the business of people at uh, Nyamakima and the presses while he's consuming the counterfeit. Let them really spoil his nervous system in, in his body so that he can understand how coarse it is. So, Niliona, they were watching, they were streaming uh, or watching from their phone how Kamkunji is going on. That is the reason why I can say they are accurate. If we, we were to check over their vests and the shirts, they were sweating. That is why you see today they are confirming to the country that they are the, the chief uh, in the commander of KDF. <laughs> My friend, <laughs> how many KDFs we really and defend the, the massive movement of people. How men? I'm not really understanding what it means, but uh, we are flying back to Kenya. We are coming to defend our country. Me, I'm waiting to see the, the coming Sunday what Baba says. From there then, there are people who are really chatting back so that they can take the cause home. We need our 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 thoughts. Remember the eight point something million the Papa is talking now, people of diaspora already we were celebrating. If you really followed from UK and other places, we said already Baba has eight million. And now here this man called Chebukati. Now he's not responding of the facts that are coming from his office. And the Papa has spoken the truth that the whisperer is one of your, of your colleagues other than the commissioners. He's, he's part of the smaller clerks who has given out the data, the road data that entered on the 9th and the 10th to the server. Why they are not dis disputing the, the results then? And now people in Kenya, you see Jebukati where he's walking, Munasema is our hero. My friend, that man should be found in a dustbin. He, I, I don't know. I don't know the way you reason with that kind of people. We need to understand that the people and the caribou of Jebukati of 2017, today is a hero. Who washed him? Can you ask yourself? We need to find out who washed this man. Is it the same, same William Ruto? Who is really conversing that he's a Christian? But what he does in, during the night, there are things that are uncommunicable. And the, now people, you tell him that I can refer him as a president of the Republic of Kenya. Right now, somebody is claiming that the money of this called the Hasala, Hasala fund, they have been given in a car tour, in a Tolewa account without you yourself authorizing to go. We see what you Surely. And that is the country we want to talk about that we need to move on the streaming. Apana, Mr. Bernard. As we come up, so we will pack you up. We will give the strength. We will breathe the strength. 
Lakini mambo ya gasha, why don't talk to the dios? Let us talk to the people who are above the dios. Thank you. Hey, asante sana Mr. J, tunashukuru kwa mchango wako na maoni yako na amini wa Kenya umekupata kwa njia safi na hiyo ndio wito wa kila mmoja wetu kwa sababu tunataka nchi yetu iongozwe in, ipasavyo. Uh, the mafias that have taken over the country, they must relinquish it to the owners and the owners of this great country are the Kenyan people. It's not the elites, it's not uh, the uh, politicians, it is the Kenyan people. And uh, the highest court in the land is the Kenyan people, not uh, the Supreme Court or otherwise. And so when the Supreme Court goes against the will of the Kenyan people, if the Kenyan people have a right to recall the delegated responsibility they had given to them and decide their case their own way, uh, which is the right way. Asante sana, naomba tusonge bele katika mjadala wetu. Na tuka kikishe kwa hapa atu tazame peke etu. Karibisha wawili watatu. Uh, it is your civic duty. Make sure that uh, everybody is participating into understanding what's going on and what must be done to help the situation. Yambo, you are behind the curtain. Uh, it is wrong. You are uh, spoiling the quality of the video for the people who watch this show after we are done. So if you can't keep your camera on, then... Uh, we will have to put you to quarantine until you are able to come on. Yambo, Yambo, Justin, are you getting me? Yes, how are you? It was your turn. Okay, okay, I think, I think I'm now clear. Good, good. You can be good. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. I can see the the, the motion of today is six months promises are back. Uh, I've had uh, so many people are really criticizing the Kenya Kwanza government, of which it is not good. Even if you are not in the country, you need just to support the government. With me, I'm supporting the government. I uh, just want to say that uh, the promises are still there. Let's not uh, look or uh, concentrate on what the opposition leaders are doing because it is their right and the right is ensuring in the, in, the, in the Kenyan constitution that they need to put the country, in fact, they need to check, give, they, they, they need to put the country in, in a check and that's their, and that's their role. So if you hear people saying that maybe oh, what 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 the way I've heard my my friend Mr. J saying about the Asla Fund, which is not even true, maybe he has not even taken the Asla Fund. He's just uh, maybe referring to what he doesn't know. The Asla Fund can't be taken from your account without your consent. So let's just try and be realistic with what we are saying. Okay, we, it is now almost, uh, let's try, it is almost uh, six months after the elections. Well, well, but, but I, when I am, yes. uh, I, you are uh, a participant, uh, are you a beneficiary of Asla Fund? Yes, yes. And uh, you, you, you got a loan and they took 25% for, for your savings? Yeah, up to now, I've not even returned it. I've not repaid it. And it, nothing, my, my M-Pesa has money, my accounts are all well, but they have not been taken. So what Mr. J was saying is just wrong. No, no, no. Uh, hold on, because uh, there is where I'm going, okay? Uh, yeah. The, the, the 25% that was taken, okay? Mm -hmm. It was saved mm -hmm. where? I don't, I don't, I can't even explain. But uh, I was convinced that it has, it has been safe. Hold on. I want us to go slowly, okay? Because uh, the purpose <laughs> we do this show is to get Kenyans to understand, all right? Yes. So yes. Uh, somebody gives you a loan, okay? Then he takes 25%. Mm -hmm. He says it's your savings, mm -hmm. eh? okay? And you can't trust those your savings. Mm -hmm. If you want that 25% right now, where do you begin to ask for it? Do you call? Do you dial? Do you walk in the office and you ask on, from which account? You know, nobody has ever complained about the 25%, the savings. 
why it is going it, it is you to decide whether to take it and you are not even being forced to take it no yambo you are not you are not being sincere okay we are we are not dealing with the with the chesa karata kando ya barabara pata potea we are talking about the government fund a government fund that is governed by law okay and if somebody has savings or like your your paid policy uh your your policy fee for let's say insurance okay you you have a specific account you have a specific policy and is in your name you can claim it and if something happens to you your next of kin can claim it so how do where but, where how how do we save for you 25% in no account no names mr bernard and your government does that make sense yes let's just take it from this perspective you saved 25% of 500 shillings let's say so it is something to do with 30 shillings so can 30 shillings really help you why can't we just be patient you save borrow return borrow repay borrow repay so that this your savings can accumulate so that when it comes to when you will you will now be uh, you, you will now want to to get your savings you start crying you start Mr. complaining Yambo. Mr. Yambo, you are being irresponsible okay have you been, ever been to a supermarket and went to buy uh, an item and you do not have 30 shillings did they tell you to go because it's just that shillings? No, no. So, whether it's one so, shilling, if it's taken by government, we need to know where that one shilling is gone, is going, or else it's but you've been stolen. But you've been told it, it is your savings. Have you ever requested you for it? Two savings for me in, in no account. That's a question I'm asking. You do savings for me as a government in no account. It is not NHF, it's not NSSF, it is not governed by any law, and you're giving you're you're doing savings for me. Is that how you do even merry go round? Table banking in a kwanga ina gina ina ina chochote ina wanachama. You know, you know, the, the main concern was not to, about the savings, it was about your money being taken into account without your consent. Which is not true. So that is now the twenty, the, the, the thirty shillings you are talking about. Where will you get it when you want, you need it? But did 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 you hear that the the there the, the, there was a, a board that was just constituted last week? So maybe the board will be responsible to answer such questions. <laughs> Yes, we, 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 it is only that we are, we are, we are, we are not even paying here. You need to ask this man a simple question. Why do you think people take loans that we have percentage, like somebody is offering at a 10% interest, another one at a 7% interest? Why do you choose 7% and leave 10%? Mr. You know, you might be wasting time with somebody who doesn't understand himself. If somebody can tell you he's taking a loan of 500 shillings and doesn't care where the 25 shillings is going, yet the, the, the reason he's taking loan from the government is because other people are charging an interest of 30 shillings and government is charging an interest of 20 shillings. So that's somebody who doesn't understand himself. Maybe you can discuss another thing, but for the Hasra Fund, you can't constitute a board once the loan has already been given. So who will account for the 10 billion already issued? Do you marry a woman, then you come and learn about her, or maybe you learn about yourself, maybe you, you, you come to, to, to get to know your names after, after you've stayed. Okay. Yambo, Yambo ino nekana ametoweka. When you come back, you respond. But please, let's not uh, let's not uh, abuse the intelligence of Kenyans. And uh, we are not against uh, William Ruto's government for nothing. We are against William Ruto's government because of its behavior. Number one. Number two. How it got into power is now questionable because the people who pronounce him president elect are now placed to defend themselves against the information they used to declare him president elect. The revelations are proving that he, the information used to declare him president-elect 
was not right. He is not the bona fide winner of the elections. So until that matter is settled, he cannot be at peace in that office. And Kenyans should see to it that he doesn't get the peace he's looking for in that office until that matter is settled. Jebukati and team should come out and defend those figures, reject those figures, deny those figures, and give us the right figures. If they prove to us that William Ruto won these elections uh, rightly according to the server and open all the servers for Kenyans to see, we will not talk another thing. But as long as they keep away from defending those figures or denying those figures, the more they are going to be truer to the, to the eyes of Kenyans and to the ears of Kenyans, and Kenyans will be willing to fight tooth and nail to get what is rightfully theirs. Thank you, everybody. Let's keep going. I appreciate everybody for keeping us company. Please, let's keep into the push. Let us not allow ourselves to be abused in terms of our understanding and our knowledge. Supporting the government requires that you support it on the principle, okay? Principle in the sense that you're standing... Ben, you've hanged. You've gone off air. Maybe, maybe you can work on your on your audio, then come back. I think the guy who just left, that guy called Yambo, doesn't know why he uh, is here. He doesn't understand what that Haskell fund is, and he's. Uh, among the few, not the few, but among the many uh, Tanga Tanga and the Kenya Kwanza officials who want us to believe that the Hustler Fund is not a scam when it's already been confirmed that it's a scam. Why would you give people funds without proper uh, 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 plan or without constituting the, uh, the basic things that are needed there? Why would I take money and you're telling me, even if it is one shilling, uh, you're telling me I should not care where it is going to. How many people are taking that loan? They're telling us, for example, if 3 million Kenyans take that loan and in each Kenyan you take their 20 shillings. So how many millions are those ones? So, you know, when somebody comes here and the things are see if, uh, that 25 shillings, even one shilling is important. If they steal from you one shilling out of the 50 billion that is borrowed, that is how much? So people should just get serious uh, whenever they are coming. Ben Karibu. <laughs> Asante, these people are trying to hijack my network, but uh, they are defeated. Well, naomba tusonge bele ni wakati wanane. Guru ama Kenya ni yetu wote. Tukusikilize mze guru kwanza. Hello? Abariano. <coughs> Salama dadi, vipi lakini? Uh, mzuri sana Bernard. Uh -huh. Mzuri sana. Ah, miezi sita wanasema tutapata kitu. Ma mambo inaelekea namna gani? <laughs> Kenya kwanza ime imechanganyikiwa. <laughs> <laughs> Unajua mtu akiipa ngombe ya mtu kila wakati anaangalia kwa fence kuona kama mwenyewe anakuja kutafuta. <laughs> so um, six months promises are back. And uh, William Ruto assures himself that he's uh, still the president of the Republic of Kenya. Bernard, uh, what Kenya is going through right now is, uh, is a very, very interesting period. It is uh, similar to the period uh, between 2003 and 2007 where the nation seemed to have lost direction because the expectations of the people are not uh, well aligned with the government that was there then. 
and it seems to be the same case right now. Uh, I don't know whether you people, you heard the statement that uh, the buildings that will be constructed in uh, that place is what, uh, uh, Bernard, where the president was? Shaurimoyo. Shaurimoyo will Shaurimoyo. be 25. Yes, will be 25 uh, stories. Now, those who know about uh, house construction, you know that even seven stories is quite a hectic journey from the bottom to the top. I don't know whether these uh, buildings will have uh, rifts, which I suppose they will have, but I'm also surprised that uh, the directive was given directly to the architects to adjust the buildings. Here is a man who thinks he knows everything. If you talk to those who have done this uh, skill, they will tell you that uh, many things are considered uh, when putting up a building, especially that we will go many stories up there. Part of that is about uh, the ability of the soil texture to hold such weight. The other one has to do with waste disposal and so many other things. So here is a man who thinks he can tinker with all skills. Nadhani tumerundi pale kwa mkulima namba moja, mpishi na mambonja. Unaona mwalimu na namba moja, kila kitu na mamoja. Because when you start interfering with the with expertise and uh, venturing into areas that you have least knowledge in, and especially at political level, then you you venture into a very dangerous uh, ground. That's why we have uh, we have technical officers. They, because they are trained in those things. It's just the other day that uh, the same person directed that they will not be paying more than 10% for the treasury bills and bonds. At least does this man know that these matters are left to the dictates of market, demand and supply. They are not just fixed out of the bruise. So those who know how personalities behave. This is a person who feels that he can control everything. He can control the way buildings are constructed or designed. He can control the markets, how the markets move. He can control everything. And therein lies the danger of Kenya. Because those readers who are true to themselves, they leave certain areas of expertise to those who know better. They don't direct what should happen. They ask and seek for advice. Now, coming back to the main topic of uh, Jacaranda. There is a there is a growing uh, sentiments that uh, the government is running scared. Today, they I even heard the deputy ask the people. So, when you go to the demonstrations, then after that, there is a general. Uh, narrative of trying to show the futility of such uh, action as a way of discouraging people and making people have what we call despondency. 
but I think uh, from my side, the way I see it is that this has been overtaken by events in the sense that the very same people, they quoted the youth, feel frustrated that whatever was promised to them seems now to be a mirage. Look at the hustlers fund. Nobody talks about it these days. In fact, the weekly uh, uh, update on who has, how many have borrowed, how much has been uh, repaid back, how many transactions, that update is gone. But you can imagine why. Okay? That is the first thing that this government seemed enthusiastic about. It's corrupting and corrupting very fast. If you ask most of those youths who took 500 shillings, they are telling you they will not pay. GMO, Hawakuri, Hasra Fund, Hawaripi. So <laughs> I understand is the slogan that started just the, 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 in the, the rally that was held in Kamukuji. So when you look at uh, the way this government, they, they, they are doing things, right now you can see they are trying to exaggerate the issue of housing. Bernard, I'm very skeptical that you can get a house, you stay there for 15, 20 years, paying only 5,000 shillings. I do not know what economics that is. Maybe those who are economists in this field or in this forum can come here and tell us against the demand of housing in Kenya today that you can you can have a mortgage of 5,000 shillings. I'm waiting to see that one. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not uh, just uh, beating about the bush is uh, that uh, the housing sector in Kenya is such that, Bernard, today, if you are to start uh, constructing houses, the likelihood is that uh, if you want them to sell at uh, 2 million, you end up uh, selling even 5 million because of the demand. So that talk about eliminating uh, slums, to me, is a mirage. And how do you eliminate uh, slums when you have only 5,000 units in Migori, 4,000 units in Embu, Due 1,000 units, due where? That is a drop in the ocean. I mean, uh, these people would rather be serious with what they are doing. You know? And this is with all due respect that uh, 5,000 houses in Migori or around Kisumu is a drop in the ocean. 3,000 or 4,000 uh, units in Meru is a drop in the ocean. So where can this government put the money and have an impact on the majority of the people of Kenya? That's the challenge that is there. And not unless they do that, they will not be felt like the way the government of Kibaki was felt by saying that every child of primary age should go to primary school free of charge, like the Uhuru government has been felt by the widespread visible infrastructure development, especially the road system, I do not see any other way. However, Mbuzi ya mwenyewe wana ila kwa nyumba zao ilhali wanajua mwenyewe analia inje mbuzi yake imeibiwa 
wakati wa kuitiza hiyo mbuzi ndio inaonekana imeanza kufika na Bernard kuna watu wanaona kama hii ni mchezo hii si mambo ya ukabira ningetaka kufuta kwa akili za wengine kwamba kuna kabila siko upande huu ama sitaenda upande ule mwingine hapana utakuta ni kwamba kila mtu amechukua msimamo dhabiti sasa hivi Kenya ya leo na hiyo msimamo itaanza kudhihirika wakati baba Raila Amoro Dinga atapeana njia the direction because Bernard you can tell not tell me that that person in Muranga in Meru in Embu who fought for baba today can turn against him in fact that person feels very hurt when he sees that he woke up in the morning to go and vote and express himself and his vote does not count I don't know whether those who are from Central who are here, the Rondas of this world, I don't know, she's not been here for a long time, but uh, I can see this. Watu wakiwa wamekimia si kumaanisha kwamba wanawewe. Central, sroganira ikopale ni kwamba maendereo inapere kwa pengine Jumabiri tunaenda ku, kuswali pale, pale kwa mulima Kwa hivyo hii maneno imeanza sasa kuchibuka na jia ambayo watu wameanza kujiuliza hii ni jinamizi ya namna gani walijiingiza Actually I said on this forum if there is one casualty that will be there when this regime is ending is is a section of the christian so called ministries wengi watafunga virago na kuelekea nyumbani asante kwa sasa okay asante bwana guru tunashukuru kwa mchango wako na maoni yako maswali mazuri kweli uh, wa kenya mtoe majibu la sivyo mjihami kwenda kukomboa nchi yenu kwa sababu kuna wale ambao wameamua kuifanya mchezo wa watoto a uh, uongozi wa nchi unahitaji uh, kuwajibika kuwajibika inamaanisha kubeba kila mkenya katika moyo wako katika mawazo yako katika mabega yako you can't be a president when you are thinking about yourself your wife and children to be the president of this nation means you're carrying the 55 million of us with you in your heart in your mind and on your shoulders every decision you make it has to be because of these 55 million people but we seem to have uh, a, a leadership here that thinks about themselves their political party and their plans regard regardless of how kenyans feel and think about the whole process it is true that kenyans went out and voted in a particular direction jebukati and team came around turned everything around and um, went to defeat justice in the court of uh, in the supreme court and now they want us to live by their error we reject to live by an error we must correct an error so that we can be able to forge ahead na wala ambao ni waoga wala ambao washa give up ka, ka, nimesikiliza mdavid leo nikacheka i mean uh, yani kama mdavid kata kama ni backslide so una backslide vizuri yani pola pole una backslide tu kabisa mpaka mpaka unafika kiwango cha kusema hata 2027 20, ishaenda yani you cannot challenge it. it it is so irritating and then they are gathering themselves together to be um Lembe house to walk together walk together with cowards we are not cowards and we are not joining that fear movement rescuing this country is a priority and it has to be done urgently so let's keep going 
Uh, kama unatupata tafadhali karibisha wawili watatu hakikisha kwamba unafuata kipindi na tena unahusika katika kuhakikisha kwamba kipindi kinaendelea. Tutaanza kulipa bili leo mpaka uh, Jumatatu. Kwa hivyo tujitahidi kuhakikisha kwamba we are paying our bills and uh, we are moving forward. Thank you. Dune victory is mine. Karibu. Ah. Uh, Asante sana ndugu uh, Bernard. Uh, uh, nyabaya. Jo. Na hapa kuna jina nyingine. Ah. Ah, kwa hii siku mwana kulala na kucha basi ni mwaka kwa unapoiona siku kama hii ya leo basi hauna budi ida kumshukuru Mungu kwa kuniwezesha tena kuweza kupata nafasi kuzungumza na ndugu zangu hapa nikijumuika na ndugu zangu wale wako hapa na wale wako katika comments section kwa menajili ya taifa letu Bernard nikaanza kwa ufunguzi wangu ama utangulizi wangu nadhani unaanza kuona maneno yale nazungumzia na jitokeza juzi nisungumza mchecheto tumbo joto eh? roho mkononi sasa ndio hayo tunayaona mdavadi ndio huyo kwenu akiwasanya sanya angalau at least kuziba ufa wasije wakajenga ukuta ambapo sasa nao ndio hivyo wamekumbuka shuka saa kumi na mbili asubuhi tukirudi hapa napo bwana Ruto na ameingia na vishindo kifua eh ni nani atanisumbua na uongozi ni wangu mimi ndio rais na hakuna lingine kwa hivyo hao wapige pigi wabweke bweke huko lakini watajua hawajui watajua hawajui jamani na hapo hapo wa Kenya wanapiga makofi wakidanganywa peupe peupe kwamba tayari mimi nishatengeneza watu milioni tano ambao nimewaandikisha na nishawapa mbegu na mbolea Jamani sikia maiki ama ni siku ya mwisho. <coughs> yaani unaweza ona maneno kama kweli hakika Mungu amekuzunga. <coughs> Bernard ni heri ni heri unyimwe sura kama chaka lakini upe wakili. Bado watu wanapiga makofi hivyo hivyo kwamba tayari nimesa lini hawa watu milioni 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 tano tayari walioandikishwa na wamepewa tayari eh, mbolea na wanaenda kulima ni, ni lini kama si uongo wa peupe jamani mtoto ashazaliwa kilichobaki hili ni tumbo la mama la zingizi tu mtoto tayari ashazaliwa kitambo si kwamba ni tumbo la uchungu tena hili nililet tunaita ni tumbo la zingizi na wakina mama wanalisifia zaidi wanasema ndo huwa kali zaidi hata kuliko ni hilo tumbo la uchungu kwa hiyo ndugu yangu Ruto ndugu yangu Ruto kali koroga sasa wacha linyi ni mipango tu wa kutaka kutafuta tafuta at least kwamba wavuruge kivyo vyote. Yaani angalau wakate watu at least jakaranda isijae maana itakuwa ni waibu mtu pondoka njama kako hapo lakini ni uongo. It's really too late. It's, re- it's already too late. Na hiki kifua na kibri. Nitambegesha tu kwa vitabu vya Mwenyezi Mungu japo I'm not good in Bible lakini hupenda kuwasikiza wahubiri zaidi na hupenda na huwa namwambia Mungu anayajalia roho 
ya kufundishika ama roho ya mwanafunzi Bati nitampa tu mahali padogo tu kuhusiana na kibri. Mara nyingi huwa unapojienua basi utashushwa chini na utawiana na mimi kwa sababu unajua hili ni jukumu lako ndo sawa ndo ofisi yako Benadi. Unapojienua hakika utashushwa chini utakinyagwa tu. Kwa kujienua kwingi huko mimi ndio rais na hakuna lolote. Hawa watajua kwamba he Ehe. Wasiwasi ni wa nini? Kutafutana na wananchi ni kwa nini? Kama kweli huyu mbuzi wako. Bwana Ruto tujuze. Na wale wanamsupport Ruto watu wambie. Huu mchecheto tuna kweli walishinda kwa Mungu maana tuliambiwa ushindi huu. Si mao si uchawi. Ushindi huu si uchawi ni maombi. Ushindi huu si uchawi ni maombi. Je? Mbona tena unarudi kwamba sasa ushindi huu umekuwa sasa ni <laughs> eh? si maombi ni uchawi. Jamani Kenyans tusiumbishwe. Tukiamua tuamue. Haya situvuruge haya kama ni ahadi tumezishuhudia nyingi na bado zinaendelea kuwa ahadi na tumezishuhudia tu, tume since 2013 lao angekumbuka ahadi basi angetujengea zile stadium ambazo alikuwa ameziahidi wakati ule na sadani kama kuna mtu wa UDA haamini haya naazungumza kwamba tuliahidiwa viwanja wa Kenya tumechoka na ahadi za malumbano za malaumu kwamba siwi hii inchi ili haribuwa na handisheki hii inchi siwi nini hizi zote ni excuses ha? lakini ukweli ni kwamba ushindi huu si wake na Mungu hachanganywi na uchafu siku zote so Kenyans tuwe na moyo mzito siku imebaki tu ya kesho kesho gutwa hapa mambo yatakuwa ni mazuri Tujae kwa wingi. Tujae kwa fujo. Msapoti baba. Huyo wanaomchekelea kwamba atajua hajui. Na imani kibao kitageuka na wao watakuwa sasa ndo hawajui. Kwa sababu hatuwezi endelea na nchi ambayo mwananchi mpaka bahana thamani sasa hivi imejulikana kinaanza kuuma hiki kiatu kishaanza kufinya ndo kidogo watu wataanza kuelekeza macho kwa wananchi haraka sana lakini jichungeni na nyewe wananchi wa Kenya pia msidanganyike tu kiraisi raisi hivi wa kutupua premende tayari mshaamini hawa watu msidhanie kwamba labda pengine hawa watu ni nyani tu ama mkaona labda pingine ni nini kumbe ndo wale please langu mimi ni kuwaonya ndugu zangu na kuambia njoo ni pamoja tushikane pamoja tukiamua tukipanga tupange kama kweli sisi hatujui Mungu wetu aliye Mungu anajua tunajua kiasi gani kama hatujui Mungu wetu anajua ni mzigo gani wa Kenya tunapitia na ndio maana tunaikosoa hii serikali pili kama tunataka kutengeneza nchi yetu haswa masuala na uh, masuala na uchaguzi ili tukome huu msemo na mbwa let's accept and move on tayari watu washakuwa kwenye power haya mambo tunataka tuyakomeshe on, on Sunday Kenya tuwe na uchaguzi ambao utakuwa ni wa huru na wa haki na haki itawale katika taifa Kenya waondokane na kubebeshwa mzigo siku ni Jumapili tusirudi nyuma kabisa tuone itakuwaje sauti yetu ndio kitambulisho chetu cha mlecho watu wa safari kwa msasa sauti yetu ndio nguvu yetu kuitawala kulikomboa hii hi Kenya yetu niwe, niwe, niwe mfupi tu hapo kwanza kwa sababu ni wapishe wenzangu itakuwa si vyema nichukue muda wote Bernard yapo na mengi asante sana ndugu asante sana dadi tunashukuru kwa mchango wako maoni yako uh, habari ndio hiyo Heri. 
Heri mungu akunyime sura. <laughs> Lakini akupatia akili. <laughs> Na excellent the quote of the day. <laughs> ya mute, ya mute daddy. <laughs> <laughs> sura si roho asante hiyo ndio mtemo wa siku <laughs> okay asante sana tunashukuru kwa mtango wako huyo dadi yetu mdune anatuelimisha anatupatia misemo mikali mikali kuna mtu alitoa comment huko kwa uh, sound card talk akasema huyu uh, mdune inakaa alikuwa mmoja wapo ya wahenga <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu misemo yake ni kali kama ya wahenga tu basi <laughs> tunashukuru kwamba tuko hapa na wahenga na tunajifunza katika mtembei tv karibu sana tafadhali hakikisha utazami peke yako unakaribisha wawili watatu kisha unamakinika kutoa comments na kusubscribe kwa sound candid talk ili hiyo channel nayo ikakue ime inaendelea vizuri tushafikisha 1200 uh, subscribers we want to keep going Uh, get to 1500 and then 2000 within this uh, period so don't uh, relent let's keep moving and there are some programs that run there that don't run on this other channel so it is good to subscribe on all the channels to be on the safe side thank you so much uh nani kuna go kuna konga konga umefika studio yes lakini ukajificha nyuma ya curtain hiyo ni kinyume cha sheria uh tunaomba ukirejea put your, your camera on for the quality of the video especially for the people who watch the show after we are done it is important to keep the screen lit so that uh, the people who watch enjoy watching and hear what we are saying uh, mr j what are you saying uh, just a moment melke we are coming back to you yeah mr bernard there is this guy who who encounter my 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 submission concerning about the hasala fund that mm. the people in diaspora they don't understand what is a hasala fund is wherever he is listening from let me assure him that i understand hasala fund although before even he got the information because the when the, that thing of a hasala fund it was cooked in diaspora before it came to to kenya those meetings that that gentleman came here diaspora he tried to pursue as that we can generate a lot of money through giving that kind of thing you know so i want to uh, help him understand that uh, even my remit i checked my remit i tried it i have an experience what it t- it took me okay i took 500 because my limit was uh, was 650 i took 500 25 25 was deducted from there it remained 470 something there i assumed i don't want to pay that the money that was in my account as on my hempesa after the the period elapses it was deducted automatically without my consent that is what i'm talking about that is irregular that is the end of the day we call that they don't have a permission to remove my money from my account directly because i did not sign anything any document there is no any policy that i have read that which can make me to abide to that kind of regulations for example yes they saved for me some few a few money from that kind of a, a fraud i call it a fraud to me it is a fraud how can i trace my my account that i have saved that money there is nowhere i can go to my nssf when i was working in kenya i can go and retrieve my account with money i deposited there from the salary the date the period and when i stopped it but what about this thing called uh, asara this is a fraud abibi we need to just work out and understand how we can do it without it for example me i said i cannot borrow money from this called uh, asara fund there is no day and i will not encourage people
to go and borrow money from there, even if they are at the low moment. They need the money. Better they will ask me, I give freely, without no any benefit of, uh, of interest. But the government, it has become a fraud start to its citizens. With the time, people, they will understand. Now they are enjoying because they are in that animal of, of, of that called the fraudista kind of erection that uh, Samboric was conducted by Chapukati and the, and the, the, the minister of uh, Mr. William Ruto. Hey, Kenyans, we need to open our eyes. So the gentleman tell him, I understand better from diaspora concerning Azra Fund very well than anything else. Thank you, Bernard. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. J, for that response. I that is clear enough. <clears throat> and uh, uh, like... Uh, Okay, hey, I'm under attack. Please, uh, let's let's have Melchizedek and Leo be on the standby. These people are trying to trap my net. So, Melchizedek, go ahead. Okay, Abari Zeno. Salama, salama, vipi uko? Niko salama sana. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for the uh, the wonderful job that you are doing. I've been following up for what is happening and I've been seeing everything that is happening. You are doing a very good job. If I'm going to what uh, I want to say, I'm a youth of a Kenyan, which is suffering because of the government that we have now. 